Example three, determine the points where the curve six x plus two y squared minus y equals three has a vertical tangent line. Does the curve have any horizontal tangent lines? From the graph provided, it looks like there is one that provides a vertical tangent line, but we're gonna find out what is that other pair. For the vertical tangent, the slope or the m is undefined. For the horizontal tangent, the slope is zero. So we are going to find dy by dx using the implicit differentiation. Starting with step number one, find the derivative with respect to f to our terms. So d by dx of 6x plus d by dx of 2y squared minus d by dx of the y equals d by dx of 3. Derivative of 6x is 6. Derivative of 2y squared is 2y multiplied by dy by dx minus dy by dx equals 0. Subtract 6 both sides and factor dy by dx as a common factor of the left two terms. So we have 2y minus 1 multiplied by dy by dx equals negative 6. Therefore, the dy by dx equals negative 6 divided by, oh, this is 4, sorry, this is 4. So negative 6 divided by 4y minus 1. And this is the slope of the tangent line, or the m of the tangent line. So if the slope of the tangent line is vertical, that means the slope is undefined. What case the slope is undefined? So let me write it as the m of the tangent line equals negative 6 divided by 4y minus 1. For the vertical tangent, the m must be undefined. To undefined, that means the denominator equals 0. So we let y, uh, 4y minus 1 equals 0 to get y equals 1 over 4. We can find y. So let's see what is the x value corresponding to this y value from the implicit function that we have, which is 6x plus 2y squared minus y equals 3. For y equals 1 over 4, we have 6x plus 2 times 1 over 4 to the second power minus 1 over 4 equals 3. 1 over 4 to the second power is 1 over 16 multiplied by 2, that is 1 over 8. And 1 over 8 minus 1 over 4 is negative 1 over 8. We get 6x equals 3 plus 1 over 8 or 25 divided by 8. Divide both sides by 6. Now we have x equals 25 over 48. That means we have the other pair or the point on this curve at the point 25 over 48 comma 1 over 4. At that point, we have the the vertical tangent line. As in the graph, so that other pair is the other pair 25 divided by 48 comma 1 over 4. Next, let's consider, is it possible to have the horizontal tangent line? As you see the slope, which is negative 6 over 4y minus 1. The horizontal tangent, the m or the slope must be zero. Can negative six over four y minus one be zero? The answer is no. So therefore, the curve doesn't have the horizontal tangent line.
Example four, find the second derivative or y double prime. We have psi y equals x plus y. First, we can find the first derivative divided by the x. And this is the implicit equation. Step number one, find the derivative with respect to x to our term. So d by dx of psi y equals d by dx of the x plus d by dx of the y. The derivative of psi y is cosine y multiplied by dy by dx. Derivative of the x with respect to x is one. Derivative of the y with respect to x is one times dy by dx. Collect the terms or solve for solve for dy by dx, which is step number two of the implicit differentiation. Now we're gonna collect the term by subtracting dy by dx both sides. We have cos y dy by dx minus dy by dx equals one or cos y minus one times dy by dx equals one. And that gives us the first derivative of dy by dx as one divided by cos y minus one. Next, we're gonna find the second derivative. Which is the derivative of the first derivative or the derivative of one over cos y minus one. Let's check. So cos y minus one, yes. And this one, we can make it convenient to find the derivative by rewriting as cos y minus one to the negative power and apply the chain rule. So the derivative of the quantity to the negative power is negative one multiplied by the same quantity to the power second, negative second. And then by the, multiply by the derivative of the quantity cos y minus one. And the First product here, the first factor here, we can rewrite as negative one over the quantity cos y minus one to the second power. For the derivative of cos y, we get negative psi y multiplied by dy by dx as we apply the chain rule. And then subtracted by the derivative of one with respect to x is just zero. Now we have the numerator as psi y divided by cos y minus one to the power second. And we call the dy by dx that we derive at the first half of the process, which is one over cos y minus one. So replace dy by dx by one over cos y minus one. Simplify one more time to get psi y over the quantity cos y minus one to the third power as the second derivative of this implicit equation.